Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Furniture Maker. So this is a fantastic plugin by the same developer who made the Furniture plugin, which you may remember I covered it a few months ago, I think. So that included televisions, cameras, cacti, flags, and loads of other things, including chairs and tables and whatnot. Lots of different pieces of furniture. And now you can attempt to create your own with this fantastic plugin. It's rather difficult, but uh, I've been messing around with it for a few minutes and I've managed to make two pieces of furniture, well furniture, let's have a look. So the first one is a bit abstract, I I don't know what it is, it's three pieces of wall and um, that's what it looks like. <laughs> so um, yeah, you might want to put this in your house or, or in the rubbish bin, it's not brilliant. And finally we have the, uh, the other one I made, I was messing around, and as you can see this is um, five armor stands, two of which are holding swords. So you can really do a lot with this plugin. Um, you can obviously delete it. So I'm going to go all the way over here and we're going to create a brand new one. So to start we need to type the command forward slash model create followed by a name. So we are going to call it uh, three as the other ones are called one and two. You can call it anything and you will see we are in this little box. So first of all we need to right click the ground anywhere to place down the armor stand. There it is, it pops in the middle. And then we have lots of things in our inventory, so let's go through them one by one. So we have the move armor stand, so if you hold shift and use the scroll wheel, it will go in the direction you're pointing. So uh, I can move it anywhere, I can move it up and down. Um, so let's move it down a bit. Um, down, let's uh, move it down a bit more. There we go, so we're back on ground level. I'm gonna move it uh, here, and there we go. Then we can edit it, so if you right click this, you will get a GUI up, and there's a few things that we can edit in here. So you can remove the marker by um, clicking the red pane of glass. You can remove the base. You can add arms if you wanted to make a soldier or something like that. You can make it visible completely, which is very useful, we're probably gonna do that. And you can make it very, very tiny. And you can also set it on fire, which is brilliant. <laughs> Who doesn't love a bit of fire? We can also rotate it in a similar way, so as you can see it's rotating. If you left click um, and right click, you can change the rotation size, which is a cool feature. So it doesn't rotate too much if it's 30, but it, obviously if it's higher it will rotate a bit more, it's like that. Then we have edit inventory, so we can put blocks or items in here. I'm just going to grab, uh, what we're going to grab, let's grab some pain of glass panes, um, yellow, pink, and maybe a sword or something, this is just going to be something random, and a chest plate, let's grab that as well, uh, gold, this will be a monstrosity, but uh, it's just showing you how to do it, so you can place them in here, like so, and if we exit out, you will see that it, <laughs> it looks a bit crazy, to be honest, so um, if we go back to edit armor stand, we can add in uh, the arms which is this one and maybe we can remove the base and uh, the glowing outline make it smaller and actually let's keep it the same size then we have the rotation tool which uh, is pretty useful if you want to move body parts about so if you hold shift and right click you can change which part of the body you want to select and if you left click you can also scroll through it so you can select the head the body the left arm the right arm the left leg and the right leg um, like that and obviously you can move the arm up and down and the head side to side and whatnot it's pretty useful then we have the clone armor stand so um, you can actually make a, another one which is kind of cool so that is how I made multiple um, in the one I showed you over there so that's kind of cool and then we have the select um, armor stand tool, so you can pick which one you want to use. And this one we can obviously move them back and forth like that. And you can edit them and whatnot. So I'm going to just make these invisible, so we don't need them. This is our only one. Uh, and then you can hit back, so left click that, you can abort, you can go back to the editor. Or you can just finish um, like that, left click. So once you have done that, you can do furniture give and then the name and there is your masterpiece that you just created. Doesn't it look lovely? 
So um, that is the plugin. There are so many possibilities if you spend time getting to know the plugin. It is an alpha, I believe it was released uh, possibly, I think it's really recent because the dev messaged me today about covering it. Had a look and it's fantastic. So it's a great plugin. Uh, loads of possibilities. If you're more artistic than me, I'm pretty rubbish at this to be honest. So uh, see what you can create and subscribe, like, comment. And most importantly, this video was brought to you by Gaelic Craft, a fantastic townie server um, that's a lot of fun to play on with a really nice community. So I'll leave a link to the plugin in the description. Check out the Gaelic Craft server, There's, there'll be an IP at the top, so have a look at that. And I will see you tomorrow.